Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial on population. We're going to look at the demographic transition model or sometimes it's known as the population cycle. Um, please remember to check out more of our videos on our website examrevision.ie, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram. So we're going to look at the demographic transition model and this is what the demographic transition model looks like and as you can see you can see stage one, stage two, three, four and five. So it's got five stages to the demographic transition model. What is the demographic transition model? Well basically it shows us how the population changes as a country develops. So as a country and an economy develops they change um, stages and they go from stage one all the way to being the most developed stage five. Stage one is the least developed, stage five is the most developed. As each country develops it goes through the different stages, stage one to five, and they experience some predictable set of changes. Some might say, what are these changes? Well, first of all, in stage one, you're you're least developed, it's very under underdeveloped. And the overall birth rates and debt rates um, are very high. Both debt birth and debt rates are very high. In stage two, the debt rates will start to slow down a bit, okay? So the debt rates, the green line starts to slow down a bit. But birth rates will still remain very, very high. So, what does this mean? Well, if the same, if there's a very high birth rate and there's an, is a, and the, the debt rates are slowed down a lot, what's going to happen here is the population starts to go and increase. There's a lot more people being born than are dying. Therefore, the population will increase. In stage three, the birth rate starts to decrease and the debt rate continues to decrease as well. Why is this? Well, the improvement in technology, improvement in healthcare and sanitation, um, better medical care, um, and and education as well, and better use of uh, family planning and contraceptive me methods gives people um, a better understanding, and therefore they have less children, and they also less people die. So what happens now is the population still increases, but it's starting to slow down. When you get to stage four, the population, um, the population cycle changes. Okay, so the the birth rate will will continue to decrease, and in stage four, the debt rate actually, uh, the birth rate and debt rate will fl will fluctuate. So at certain stages in uh, in times of stage four, you will have an increase in population and also a decrease in population. And when you get to stage five, this is when the death rate actually exceeds the birth rate and stays that way. So what happens here in stage five is population starts to do to decrease. Now it's not very fast; it's a slow decrease. So you can see this line here, which shows when population has increased dramatically. And then we get to about stage five; it starts to slowly decrease. Okay, so I'm quickly going to look at each of the stages. Um, and just as I wrote down here, just one point for each one. So stage one is the fluctuation stage. Uh, both birth rates and debt rates are really high. Birth rates are high because they need children to work, they need to send them out. Also, they need children to look after the parents when they get older. Uh, and also not many children are actually survive. So they have quite a lot of children uh, in stage one. The debt rate is really high as there's a lack of clean water, as a lack of, uh, of sanitation. They lack uh, education. They lack family planning and, and, and lack basic medical care. So in stage two, birth rate remains high because of the same reasons as we had in stage one. They need children to work, they need children to look after the, the parents when they get old. Debt rate uh, falls dramatically though. Debt rate falls dramatically. Why? Because there's more access to clean water, medical care is improved and there's a better uh, sanitation. In stage three, the birth rate falls um, dramatically. This is because of the improvement of technology, such as helping out in the farms, machines and tractors can, can do the work so they don't need to have as many children. Family planning and technology, or family planning and education uh, become, is improved so people know more about family planning and contraceptive methods. Um, healthcare also improves so infant mortality is, re is reduced. And in stage three, the debt rate does continues to decline but not as rapidly as it, as it did in stage two it starts to, to, to ease off but it's still is declining and for the same reasons as uh, in stage two because there's more access to cleaner water medical care, medical care is improved uh, improvements in sanitation better education um of of foods and what they should be and what uh, the people should be eating 
and what's a healthy diet and so on. In stage four, uh, birth rates are low because um, the role of women have changed, the status of women has changed. Women are now working from uh, outside the home. They're not. They, they don't live. Uh, using, they're not focused on that traditional role of just looking after the children. Um, there's more fla family planning. Um, but they're better educated, and some ch some women are just leaving, uh, having children until later on in life, so they don't have as many children. Uh, the debt rates are also low because of excellent medical service, improved technology, and overall better um, sanitation and access to, cl to clean water. And the very last stage, stage five, you can see that the population is starting to decrease. And this is because birth rates are very low. And it's because one of the reasons is because children are seen as expensive. Uh, family planning is, is really uh, practiced in stage five of a, of a, of a country. Um, you also have uh, the fact that women have huge, uh, really good status within society. The role of women is completely different in stage five compared to stage three or, or, or two. And they, they are now like uh, better educated. They secure higher, higher, higher roles in society and jobs, and they just don't have as much time to ha to have as many children. Debt rates are low, and um, this is because of um, better like healthcare, medical services such as like a uh, nursing homes, and also people are living longer. If you'd like to know an example for each one of these stages, stage one would be like any tr uh, a tribal a tribal group in Africa. Stage two would be the country of Mali. Stage three would be the country of Brazil. Stage four would be us, uh, the Re Re Republic of Ireland, and stage five would be the country Germany. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial on the demographic transition model. It's really, really important that students understand the demographic transition model. You need to understand what happens at each of the five stages, and you need to understand why um, it hap like these th things happen at each of the stages. Um, you need to know what, what causes it, what's improved, what's what's made the birth rate decrease, what's made the birth rate like um, increase, and so on, the debt rate increase and the debt rate to decrease. And what is the overall result and the, the impact it will have on the economy. Um, if you enjoyed my video, if, if it helped you, can you please, please, can you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, YouTube.com forward slash exam revision. You can check out more videos on the YouTube channel and also on my website. And if you would like to just keep up to date with all the latest news, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at exam revision for you. Thank you.